here we have the first two puppies born. Now we've got some more. Uh, ended up with 11 puppies in total. Nice and settled here. This is them on day two. They're all clean. Mum's doing a good job with them. Splitting them up for feeds to make sure everyone gets a fair amount. Day three or four here and you can see they're coming on well. Very cute, looking nice and healthy. Now we're at about day 10 or 11. Good They're morning, starting folks. to get up on their feet and move about. Uh, this is really when the fun begins. The eyes are starting to open here. Puppies are now about two weeks old. Yeah, they're looking really well. Looking for food again here. Yeah. Now that the puppies are moving about, we're going to get them off the cardboard and onto some wood shavings. So they've got a bit more traction when they're moving about. Also helps keep everything a lot cleaner. Nice fresh smell from the wood shavings. Unfortunately, we had to take them away from the mother at 10 days old, due to her having a very bad case of mastitis, which is an infection of the mammary gland. Um, she ended up in the vets overnight for four days on a drip to clear the infection, and she wasn't allowed back in with the puppies from then on. So unfortunately for us, that meant bottle feeding the puppies every two hours without fail. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Look at those two. What are they doing? Look at each other. Why? Because their faces are covered in milk. Oh. Pull that uh, here we go. This is them with their first attempt at milk out of a bowl yeah. instead of a bottle. The mess these puppies got sure themselves in was unbelievable. Just they basically it. just yeah. loved rolling about in it. And <laughs> eating little bits of it. I don't think there was very much of it actually got drank on this occasion. Uh, this is something they would obviously get better at over time. Oh, it's about to suck someone else's face now. Yeah? Oh, I'm having a good go at Oh, oh, look, be tag on. <laughs> <laughs> look at them, they get wet. <laughs> Oh, 
build it for the next uh, size of a beaver. The uh, beaver got the fucking crack the beaver there from the bay. And uh, the same bit used to send the beaver, keeps her when they go to the new bones. And this is mum's first time back seeing these puppies since she got taken away from them. She was glad to see them. You're going to clean this yeah, mess up, right? Checked them all individually. Mm. She certainly hadn't forgot You're about them, them in their uh, four days away at the vet. There was no shortage of visitors to see the puppies, which is good for their development and socialisation. This is how we start the recall training with now three and a half week old puppies. Every time we put the food down, we whistle them in. And it's not long, you'll see if you continue watching the video, how responsive they are to the whistle in another week or so. I was very grateful of having two little helpers. The bottle feeding got quite tiresome after a while, so any help was much appreciated. So at this time we were feeding the puppies four times a day out of the bowls and still bottle feeding each puppy individually in between the bowl feeds, making sure that they were all getting enough food. They were all getting weighed daily to make sure they were putting on weight and they turned out very good. Here's their first time outside. It was a nice warm day. So they're outside with mum. The never-ending feeding ritual. We're on a slightly chunkier food now. This is mushed up puppy food. And here you can start to see the recall whistle. It is really starting to get into their head. They know that it means something good over this direction and to follow the sound of the whistle. Come on in. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, good puppies. Yeah, good puppies. 
Good puppies. Yeah. Come on, eh? Good puppy. Yeah. Good pups. It's important to give the puppies a stimulating environment. Hence the balls, uh, the different textures on the ground. We've got artificial grass, we've got decking, we've got cardboard. It all helps them to become a balanced dog at the end of the day. <laughs> they also spent a lot of time in the house as well, getting used to the sounds and sights, the, the general goings on of family life, which is important for when they go to their new homes so that nothing they come across is going to be a surprise to them. They've experienced it all before at their breeders. Another good example here of how the puppies switch on as soon as they hear the recall whistle. They really are associating it with their food and with something good. Good puppies. Now we've added some new toys in for the puppies. It's really good to see them carrying these about. Every single one of them at some point or other was happy to carry any of the toys about in their mouth. They really love that. Um, they are Labrador Retrievers after all and that's what they're bred to do is retrieve and carry game. They're now about six and a half weeks old, so a week and a half before they go to their new homes.
you can see they're all confident and curious puppies. My daughter's acting like a bit of an idiot here, but they're all quite keen to see what she's up to. None of them are scared. They're all confident little pups. And this is them just a few days before it was time to leave for their new homes. You can see they're all very healthy looking, happy, good sociable puppies. Need to get a bigger seat.